Hidden bin. Oh, we have two cards here. Oh, I thought it's an effect card. It might be a Buster Blader. This one is the highest so far. My boy. What's up, guys? And welcome back to another epic unboxing. And we're going old school, kind of, sort of, yet again, back to the 20th anniversary of the rarity of this. Not really, but it's the Feral's Servant. Feral's Servant. Sometimes my pronunciations are terrible. That's why a lot of people comment. I'm like, do you even speak English? Uh, like, I'm, I'm sorry. Do you speak any English? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? I cannot this is, believe this shit. This is not the point of the video. But yes, we are going back old school with the Feral Servant 20th Anniversary Edition. And of course, this box has already been pre-opened. If you haven't received my previous video, it has been opened in, in this video right here. We put some epic cards in that card, but, we, but he pull, we didn't pull the card that we wanted. We didn't pull the card we wanted. That card, of course, is the one from this right here. We're trying to pull this card right here. The Jinzo, if you look down on my top-down screen. But yes, this is the card that we want. But of course, these are both first editions. And speaking of first editions, guess what I got right here? A couple of these packs right here. First edition Feral Servants which will be a future video. I'm not sure when, probably more towards the end of the year. You know, I always have to celebrate end of the year stuff, but I'm trying to get more of those packs as we go through time because those packs are pretty expensive. But of course, today is all about these bad boys right here. You guys know the drill. Press the like for luck. Now I'm looking at the, uh, the high value pulls from this. Now it's kind of interesting because Jinzo's not number one. It's not, it's actually, not even top three, <laughs> but it's still a pretty decent price. But the number one card as of this recording session is actually a Buster Blader at $19.77. Um, I haven't pulled that one card yet either, so I'm definitely curious to get, get that one. And the second highest pull is the Thousand Eyes Restrict at $15.61. Also kind of surprising, but I think that's uh, typical of the first edition ones, which we'll kind of talk a little bit about. The third highest is Premature Burial, which I think I did pull. I think I did pull that one already. And that one is at $14.88. So those are the top three. And actually, if you're just curious what Jinzo is at the current moment, it's actually number, number six, actually, um, at $8.87. But still a decent pull. We haven't pulled that one yet in terms of 20th anniversary set. So I, I would like to pull that one. And of course, maybe Buster Blader as well as, as my chase cards for today's video. All right, guys, I guess let's just go into it. All right. We're going to be pulling every single card from this. Oh, yes. Actually, we're going to kind of shuffle it around a little bit because you never know. Some cards might be good in the end. It might, might be good in the beginning. I don't know. But so typically on average, I've noticed that some cards, um, like the, the better pulls are typically towards the end, like the last six packs I've noticed. Sometimes the beginning, sometimes the beginning or the middle. So one of those, one of those weird caveats. Now, if you guys notice, I do have a new camera angle here. Um, I'm, just, I'm just testing out some new uh, angles to see what looks best because um, there, there was a comment that someone made, someone, someone close and dear to my heart made a comment saying, what's up with that background? And uh, yeah, so um, unfortunately, like it's taking, it's taking me a lot longer to actually do my setup because some, some of the furniture stuff that, I, that I'm thinking about getting is either sold out, not available, or just expensive and I just can't afford it at that point in time. But um, let me do a card check. I think it's four to the back maybe, or front. Maybe it's three actually. I think, I think it's just three. Let's just do three. Um, it's taking me a lot longer to do that. So I'm, I'm hoping in due time, we can actually get that s sorted um, because I do have some good, good ideas of what I want in the background. Even me and my wife is kind of collaborating on like what will be a good background and like a centerpiece, if you will, of the, uh, of the background. But uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. As we have attack and receive. Now, obviously, for those that know anything about the history of Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Pharaoh Service is, is very nostalgic for me, specifically because of those Jinzo cards. And um, there's a couple of like Pegasus cards as well that I really, really, really like. Um, and um, yeah, um, that was pretty much it. So it was just the Force Relinquish. So nothing crazy there. All right, let's check out this value, even though it's probably not much. Yeah, this one is only 19 cents. 19 cents for this. 
force relinquish. All right, let's do this. So once I, once I get everything all set up and all that good stuff with my background, I'm, I'm like, I'm excited. But like, again, it's just very, very, very difficult in terms of like getting what I want, especially on time. But yeah, we have the insect barrier, the regulation of tribe, uh, the Oni, the tank of T34, the shadows of eyes. Of course, another uh, Maya card there. Uh, very nostalgic there, even though it's not worth much. And it's actually kind of, it's, a, it's useful in the meta at the time, but it's not super great. Not super great. Twin-headed fire dragon. Attack and receive yet again. Oops. Monster recovery, okay. And a major riot as the final card here. Number, this one is only 11 cents. So not fantastic at all. Now, now, for me, I, when, I, when growing up, I don't know why I already liked this set. Like, it wasn't like that many chase cards, if you, if you, if you're to be honest. Like, obviously the Jinzo, like that, that was like the card that you had to have um, back in the day. But um, apart from that, is there's really nothing great unless you wanted to to, to really live on the Pegasus and stuff and that and, and include his Thousand Eye Restrict um, into the set. But even then, it, it wasn't. It was useful to extent, but it wasn't that, that great. But I, I don't know, for me, it was like super nostalgic for me. Like this was like my favorite set of all time. Besides, you know, Legend of Blue Eyes, obviously. Um, but maybe I, I just like all the, the fire monsters. Maybe I like all the fire theme. Maybe I just like the way that all the trap cards look. Because there's there's actually quite a lot of trap cards here that are useful. I, I use this quite a lot as well back in the day. But yeah, and then this one as well. The Light Force Sword was also... Decently useful for the most part. I think uh, Yugi used this as well in the anime. This one is only 16 cents. 16 times the disappointments. So I'm, I'm, I'm very nervous to actually open up these first edition ones though because like not only are they expensive but they're, they're not guaranteed to have anything cool. You know what I mean? So I'm hoping we can do something with them. But uh, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll see in due time. I want to try to get at least, at least 24 if I can. You know, like the full booster box. Let's see some more of these uh, fire monsters. That I, th I thought was very, very cool. And they're decently a good attack as well at 1700 at that at that current meta. But at that time, you know, it's probably better use like um, Legend or uh, the, that seven, seven, seven colored fish. Dimensional Hole and Flame Dr Champion. All right. So nothing super great yet. This one is only nine cents. All right, no super rares or ultra rares either. All right, here we go. We have the Armored Glass. The Eye of the Truth. Now the Oni Tank. I always find this card fascinating because it, it, the artwork just feels like, I don't know, it, it didn't feel like it was a traditional uh, Yugi card, if that makes any sense. Like, um, like in terms of the artwork style, I don't know. It just felt like someone else for a different department drew it. I said, hey, this looks like a cool card. Can we, can we make this? It's like, sure. Exact conversation right there. All right, skull invitation, okay. And then the all-seeing white tiger. All right, skull invitation. So a lot of trap cards here that were pretty useful back in the day. All right, this one is only 19 cents though. But definitely let me know in the comments as well what we think of the new background. Like, um, obviously, it's gonna change probably multiple times as we age through this time together. These are uh, all these memories together. And I'm, I mean, if you ever watched my previous videos back in like, I wanna say it was like 2020 or 2020, 2020, 2020? Um, I had like, you know, I was, I was in my old house and you know, I kind of missed that background, but it's always time to evolve and change. And you know, you don't wanna have the same look every single time. At least I think so, you know. Um, you know, add, add a bit of variety, mix it up. Ooh, this is a good card back in the day as well. Another all seeing. All right, yeah, this is another burn card, I believe. It says here when a monster is sent to the field to your graveyard, even during the damage phase, target one monster on the field and destroy it. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty much like a almost like a Raigeki, I guess, but a trap card version. Almost. And this one is 19 cents. So decent, decent. I remember having like three of those in my deck because they're they're pretty easy to get, 
and also to like uh, useful, especially when I'm playing defensively. Well, at least reactively. We have uh, some deep sea warrior. Oh yeah, the Sky Scout. Obviously this used to be the Harpy's brother in the first editions. Um, I don't think they're worth very much though, even, even with the name change. You would think that the name change will make it more valuable because it's rare. But I guess because it wasn't that, there's not much demand for it, nostalgia for it maybe. It wasn't, uh, I guess, received well. Oh! <laughs> oh, damn! The card that we wanted! <laughs> At least one of the cards we wanted. Oh, we got the ship here, but who cares about ship when we have the Genzo card? Oh, we have another one back, back here. Flame Champion. Oh my god, yes. Another Jinzo to add to my collection. Oh, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful thing. How's the centering though? Oh, left to right is kind of bad. Like it's kind of like thicker here in the left than the right side. Top to bottom is decent, I think. Oh man, all right. Good stuff, guys, good stuff. <laughs> Obviously, guys, this one is the highest so far at $8.87, my boy, Jinzo. Oh, yes. Now, obviously, the, the main reason why that card is so useful is because, obviously, uh, it, it's, uh, it was pretty easy to summon. You know, just one sacrifice needed, um, you, know, you know, summon them. And it says here, uh, trap cards or trap cards and their effects on the field cannot be activated and negate all trap effects on the field. So yes, so this all these trap cards that are like continuous are like pretty much negated. Or if you even try to activate a trap card, it's negated. So that is beautiful. Oh my god, I love that card. But yeah guys, with that amazing pull, today's video is sponsored by a boys at Dragon Shield. Now there's actually multiple different Dragon Shield packs. I normally like this one because of the way it's you know nice and clear. I can see the front and back. Because as a collector, you're gonna be able to see you know what it is and the back of course has that like kind of uh rigid feel this one's a little more smoother but in here it has that like anti-grips so yeah obviously with that jinzo card we have to protect it we gotta protect it but yeah guys dragon shield check out the affiliate link down below it's an amazon affiliate link it does help support the show you just don't even know how much it does support the show because getting videos like this every single week can be quite tough especially getting packs for a small business and thanks thanks to those who have clicked on it and of course without further ado Back to some more epic unboxing. All right, guys, let's do this. Another op opening. That Jinzo, wow, amazing, amazing. So we have yet to pull the Buster Blade. I think that's the the other chase card that I want to get. I'm guessing it's four now because um yeah, I was still getting some weird cards in the in the back. But anyway, we're getting with the uh, Bombardment Beetle. Uh, this card I can't pronounce, uh, Doko Royabi, something like that. <laughs> the Drill Bug. The Gamble. Enchanted Javelin is another card I used quite a lot back in the day. Three-headed Gido, Gido, World Suppression. The Dark Bat. The Magic Drain. Ooh, I, remember, I have a first edition card of this one, but it's like terrible, terrible condition. And that's the final card. All right. This one is only... 24 cents but for some reason i remember trading for that card the magic drain uh with a buddy of mine even though the condition was like terrible because i just like the way the effect was it was a very useful effect uh, because a lot of my friends was using uh, uh i think it was magic card right yeah spell card yeah whenever they use a magic card it was like it was like especially like a right geki for example i was like no i'm i'm giving you a magic drain here all right we're going to insect another good uh defense car there island turtle for me, I was like kind of like uh, when, I, when, I, when I was dueling, even though they were good defense cards, I don't like using them because they, were, they weren't the, the element I was looking for. I was either looking for like a, a dark type or a, uh, a fire type. I think that was like my, my, my two elements I was trying to use more so, but like you can't deny some of the, uh, some of the water cards like uh, Seven Color Fish in that one. All right, so Vampire Baby. All right, Zombie. This one is... Uh, 15 cents and like I mentioned before it's, it's actually a pretty useful effect if you, if you if you pause that video and read it all right 
Let's see if we can pull some more epicness. We still got a lot more packs to go. Now, here we go. In segmentation, the flying Kamakiri, the Gamble, the Cyber Falcon, the Mystic Probe, Science Soldier, which is a terrible, terrible card. Who even uses that card? Morphing Jar number two is actually kind of useful. Yeah, this one is 20 cents. I think the first Morphing Jar was better though, I think. Uh, I'll probably put an image of that one, of the first Morphing Jar. I think that, I think that was a tournament card, if I, if I recall, back in the early days. And that was actually very, very useful. All right, I'm curious. Sword Hunter, the Harpy's brother. I don't know why he changed the name. Like, like keep, why, why keep it, just, keep it Harpy's brother? I guess they want to keep it the, uh, I don't know, more female. Oh, we have two cards here. We have the Shadow uh, Grave oh, Rare and a, a super rare of the Parasite Parasite. Okay, super rare only though. I think it was actually kind of useful maybe. Not, not that high value though, it's only 74 cents. Not even worth a point in a versus. All right, let's do this. I'd like to get at least one more ultra if I can. Because I think we pulled once um, on the previous opening, but I think, we're, I think I think they have at least two or three uh, ultra rares. I'm hoping at least three. And of course, that secret helped out as well. Mr. Volcano. The Driving Snow. Thousand Eye Idol. Ooh, I, I think a Thousand Eye Restrict would be good too to, to pull. Life Force, and that was it. Okay, only Life Force. I think we saw this already. So, price, of course, from the previous. All right. Now I think uh, I think Feral was like the last like nostalgic set for me. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the next set was, but I, but I think it was uh, maybe Dark Crisis, maybe. But um, it wasn't as nostalgic for me. Gus and the Dimensional Horror, which we pulled already as well. All right. So far, nothing great yet. All right. Uh, infinite Dismissal. The Earthshaker. Respect play. I remember using this card, card, card quite a bit as well, even though it was like uh, very hard to summon sometimes. Dark Bat. The Burning Land. Noble Bin. Oh, you have two cards here. Oh, it's an effect card. It might be a Buster Blader. Okay, Noble Man of uh, Extermination, and... Ah, it's an ultra rare though. I don't remember this card at all. The Fiend and Mega Cyber. I don't even know if this card existed. <laughs> oh my god, okay. At least we get, we get a brand new card though. Number 100, okay. Way down there. Decent now though, decent. $3.98. That would have been points worthy in a versus. But yeah, I never saw this card before. I, I kind of want to read about it. All right, if your opponent controls at least two more monsters than you do, you can special summon this monster from your hand. Wow, that's actually kind of useful. At least back in the day. I'm not sure if it's useful in the current meta, but back in the day, that that that, that would be very useful. All right. All right. Ooh, I think I did magic. Uh, <laughs> the magic wrong. I think I did the card trick wrong, but we got magical hats, so I think that's a super rare. Um. We have the uh, Armored Glass, Earth Shaker, the Bite Shoes, Shoes, uh, Dark Fire Soldier number two, the Rain of Mercy, Thousand Night Idol, and the Shadow Grave. So yeah, Magical Hats, a classic Yugi card. Decent though, for a super rare, $2.06. The nostalgia definitely helps up with the value for sure. All right. I for some reason, okay, the card trick is being weird. That was that, that, that was four, right? <laughs> Regardless, we got the uh, super rare grave robber, 
that actually might be worth some points or you know in, in terms of like uh, prices the eye of truth solemn wishes the minor uh, goblin official seven completed the gusts the ground collapse the flat the the yeah that card the knight that, that's actually kind of useful too but we care about the grave robber a joey card actually joey wheeler another decent price two dollars and 87 cents that is definitely useful I'm gonna try doing three to the front now because some of the card trick is being weird with me. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was four, but I don't know. It's being, it's being weird. And I don't like it. All right, one, two, three. All right. Dismissal, Intimation, Light of Intervention, The Steel Org, Gretel, number two, Cyber Falcon Inspection, Time Seal. Nobleman ext Extermination. Oh yes, Call of the Haunted. That is the card. I think the second highest. Uh, uh, that is what we wanted. Of course, we would rather get the Buster Blader, but uh, this is actually really decent too. This one is $11.35, so more than Jinzo apparently, but it's still decent though. Very, very good effect too. It's actually a decent, uh, decent session right now. Decent session. Even though we didn't get the uh, the Buster. I don't think... We have two packs left, so I, I don't think we're, we're, we're going to get Buster. <laughs> Damn it, I want Buster. I think I got that card too, actually. Like the original. I don't, I don't think it was first edition though. I don't think it was first edition. But I do I do know having... I remember having that card and using it in a duel. Because it was very useful. I think it requires two sacrifices. Um, but every time you destroy a monster, it like gets even stronger um uh, but yeah i think that's what it was anyway we have the sword hunter uh, okay the skull mar mariner gift the mystical elf the code wave the science striker the skull invitation and island turtle all right we, we pulled this one earlier as well all right final pack guys can we get final pack magic probably not probably not but uh, we will see. Press a like for luck. Let's do this thing. Come on, Buster Blader. Come on. That, 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 that would like be the coup de gras of this opening. If I get all the cards that I, I wanted. All right. We have the Flame Champion. The Skull Mariner. The Kachataya <laughs> Dida Dada. That card. Enchanted Javelin. Gladius. The Spike Bot, the Time Seal, the Mad Sword Beast, and the Major Riot. So no, no magic there. But we have we have some epic cards anyway. This one is 13 cents, so very much tragic. Very much. But regardless, guys, it was actually pretty damn epic. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was definitely an amazing pull. Like the fact we pulled Jinzo. My boy, the Jinzo. But I think, to be honest, I think the uh, Secret Rare is a lot easier to get in the 20th anniversaries. But yeah, the last set to open up is, of course, this one here, the Invasion of Chaos in a future video. But if you guys want to check a previous video I did of Spell Rulers, epic cards opening from that, so definitely check that out right here, this video right over here. And I'll definitely see you next time. My name is Talos. This, of course, was Feral Servants, my favorite set. I'll see you next time. Peace.